Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Luxury Program. Today we're continuing with the series What Does Your Watch Say About Yourself? And today I want to review two fantastic Rolexes, the Rolex Explorer 1 and the Rolex Explorer 2. And uh, to be completely frank and honest with um, all my viewers here, I would have to say that the only the only two Rolexes I presently can wear at the moment would be a Rolex Explorer 1 or a Rolex Explorer 2. And uh, the reason I say that is everything else is just so fucking passe. It's just, it's just so cliche. Uh, now, Rolex Explorer 1, what does it say? Well, look, the Rolex Explorer 1 is firstly, I would have to say, one of the greatest choices you can make in the Rolex range. It's discreet. It's um, it's got so much stuff going for it. The Rolex Explorer One basically invented the sports watch genre, and um, you've got to realise that the Rolex Explorer One, when it was fitted with a uh, a rotating bezel, became the uh, the Submariner, and uh, the Rolex Explorer One's got a lot of great attributes to it. It doesn't have the crown guards. It's uh, it's really where most of the the Rolex sports watches owe their beginning to. So so always remember that. Rolex Explorer 1, classic, discreet. Who wore a Rolex Explorer 1? I'll tell you who fucking wore a Rolex Explorer 1. If you read the James Bond novels, he wore a Rolex Explorer 1. Ian Fleming himself had a 1016 Rolex Explorer 1. That's how fucking fantastic the brand is. And uh, I can remember one friend of mine, when I bought my Rolex Explorer 1, laughed at me and said, oh, you couldn't afford one with a date. Well, look, you stupid fuck. Who's laughing now? The Rolex Explorer 1's one of the greatest sports watches, and the date just is just so passe. So so there you have it. That's um, that's my opinion there. I think Explorer 1's with the 369 dial is just classic. And... Um, the the thing about them is is that some people think they're a little bit small by modern standards, but fuck, I think the classic 36 mil Explorer one is a great size. Um, I'm still a bit undecided about the the bigger size one. I mean, everything seems to be going bigger, and uh, in some ways that's okay. But I don't like watches over 40 mils. I think that's getting into dangerous territory. So. You know, that's just that's just my my opinion there. But the Explorer One itself is just classic beauty, classic design excellence, and it's somebody who um, who wants to to wear a great watch, but they don't want something loud, showy, and obnoxious. And uh, it's it's probably one of the the most understated Rolexes in the range, and I think it's probably one of the the best Rolexes in the range. And um, I, I'm I'm particularly I must say I'm particularly a big fan of the Explorer One Rolex Explorer Two. Well, I think if you're going to get the Explorer Two, get that beautiful white dial. I think that's the the best dial combination to get. And um, I, I I'm I'm a huge fan of the Rolex Explorer Two white dial. And and I find the the two two time zone system really good. I think that's a it's a great feature, a great complication to have on a watch. The beautiful thing about an Explorer 2 is it's a beautiful classic sports watch, but it's not in your face like a Submariner. So it's only known to the watch collecting fraternity. It's not known to every asshole that's out there. And that's one of the things I love about the Explorer 2. It's a discreet Rolex if there's such a thing. And um, it's just so, so iconic and so well done that I, I, I think, you know, you've got to really appreciate what the Explorer 2 is and it, it's a watch you could just have an Explorer 2 and it would fit most most applications it's it's a watch you could with the white dial you could wear it with a suit although I don't advocate wearing sports watches with suits you could still get away with it it's a uh, it's a great casual business watch it's a great uh, sports watch as well it's waterproof you could you can do a lot of things with it and um, it's just a fantastic watch. You can put it on strap. You can um, you can dress it up. You know you can you can play with it. So it's a, it's a great it's a great watch. I think myself, and I've said it before, the Rolex Explorer One and Explorer Two are the only two watches in the entire current range that I'd actually wear. And uh, I, I'd also have to say that I prefer the the traditional 40 mil sapphire version instead of the newer 42 mil. 
case that's just come out. I prefer the traditional. And they're great buying bang per buck on the second-hand market. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things about Rolex is that I don't think I could buy any new current Rolex. The Day Date 2, the Date Just 2, the New Explorer 2, the Ceramic GMT, the Ceramic Sub, it's all fucking atrocious. I, I cannot wear a modern Rolex. And, uh, the you know, if you the only one in the range that I, I could wear in modern times is, is a Sapphire, 10 to 15 year old, Explorer 2 and my preference would be with case with holes and uh, the older oyster bracelet that that would be my my first preference there Explorer 2 great watch who type who wears this watch here well someone who's not a fucking dickhead someone who's not fucking wants to show off and be obnoxious and obscene they just want a good watch they they want something that's that's quality and beauty without being obscene and that's that's the type of person, a reserved person, conservative person, somebody with taste and style. They don't need to have Rolex flashed at everyone. It doesn't need to be a sub. They don't need a submariner on their wrist. They're quite happy to have the Explorer 2 and just content knowing that they've got a beautiful Rolex. And uh, I've got to say this. It, it's um, the whole watch collecting world's gone mad and... Uh, I really find it hard to wear any of the current Rolexes because they're so passe and just so fucking... They've really fucked the whole range up, in my opinion. And uh, the Explorer 2 from, from the 90s and uh, the Sapphire Explorer 1, they're fantastic buying secondhand. They're good buys and uh, they're, they're a watch that you can you can wear for a lifetime and uh, and pass on to your children. They're, they're a great, great piece and I, I love both of them. So the, the Rolex... What is a watch... Rolex Explorer 2 or Rolex Explorer 1 say about their owner, it says they're sophisticated. It says they've got good taste. It says that they don't need every arsehole to know what they've got on their wrist. Um, that's what it says. It says that they have some constraint and some decorum. That's what it says. It's everything that is everything that I'm against in Tag Heuer. All the pretend, the pretense, the fakeness. Explorer 2 is the complete opposite of a Tag Heuer. And that's that's why I love this brand so much, and this model, I should say. So I love this model so much, and uh, unfortunately, as I've said before in one of my other videos, the problem with a Rolex Submariner, it's a great tool watch. It's all the tools who wear it, whereas the Explorer 2 doesn't seem to have the same fuckwits who've uh, picked up on that series. So you can, you really, Explorer 2, I think, is, 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 is an ideal choice. It's a... Uh, I think an Explorer 2 is a much nicer watch than a Datejust. Uh, it's got that two time zone. It's got the beautiful oyster bracelet. It's just a, a classic, iconic piece. And um, I think if you, even if you only have one watch in your collection, if you just had just a one watch person, not not a collector, I think you could pull it off with the Rolex Explorer 2. It's just such an iconic piece, and uh, it's also it, it, it's it's a discreet piece. You know, it doesn't it doesn't scream. Oh, you got a Rolex. Oh, you know, it, it, it's just discreet. It's beautiful, well made. It's a fantastic watch. And uh, in my opinion there, it's one of the, the greatest watches to have. And uh, the best thing about it is that it doesn't scream it's a Rolex. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. Thank you very much for watching my video. Goodbye.